Okay, Shalom Israel. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory into Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. Um, I want to get into a lesson, you know, one of the hot topics of the week, uh, being these women and how they're going to, you know, how they're going to really feel it real soon, man. You know, and it's all uh, through the spirit. Apostle Ramla started it off on how the woman over there in Venezuela are feeling it. All right. You know, at one point, how even Venezuela was known as the um one of the, you know, the most beautiful um places to go. You know, I'm pretty sure they were haughty. They were proud. But now look at them, man. They fighting over food in the garbage, man. All right. Fighting over spoiled meat. Got to sell pussy and breast milk and hair just to get by. You know. So just as they were brought down low, America and, and um, the woman that, you know, cleaving to this place will, uh, you know, be brought down low with it, man. And one of the ones who's going to feel it, they are going to feel it real bad. You know, don't get me wrong on that. But one of the ones who's really going to feel it is the woman who's been given them the men of the Lord hell. And the woman who left who left the men of the Lord. You, you know, you, the brother's always saying they can't. That's that golden ticket, man. You know, and once you, you only get one golden ticket. You know, you only get one golden ticket. If you lose that, that's your carelessness, man. All right, and um, that's what this uh, lesson is going is going to go into. You know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh, Lord willing. And um, you know, I was just thinking about how the scriptures speak about um an enemy and adversity. Um, expect her to leave That's why I'm going to name it An enemy in adversity Expect her to leave Alright so without further ado This is the book of Job chapter 1 And I'm going to start at the, the 15th verse So you know brothers can get a quick synopsis Of uh, what's going on in the story here So this is Job 1 and 15 And the Sabians fell upon them And took them away That they have that Salaki and the Sabians fell upon them and took them away. Yet yeah, they have slain the servants with the edge of the sword, and not only am escaped alone to tell thee. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, The fire of God has fallen from heaven and have burnt up the sheep and the servants and consumed them, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, The Chaldeans made our three bands and fell upon the camels and have carried them away. Yeah, and slain the servants with the edge of the sword, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, Thy sons and thy daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. And behold, there came a great wind. From the wilderness and smote the four corners of the house And it fell upon the young men And they are dead and I only Am escaped alone to tell thee You know So Job lost it all man Job you know in the beginning of the, the Job the first chapter it goes into How Job had um, Many cattle and um, sheep and, and children and servants But he lost it all in an instant man You know And you gotta understand this represent Represented your riches you know, because what great cattle means you had good livestock, man. You had a, a, a you know, a multitude of life of livestock which you could could sell off. You know, if you had daughters, you know, you know, according to the law that basically a daughter would be uh, betrothed. All right, and um, you know, her husband or her soon to be husband would work would, would work off uh, you know, his debt or you know, pay the father uh, a dowry. You know, so this represented uh, um riches. And Job lost all of that in an instant. Now it goes on to read. Then Job arose and ran his mantle and shaved his head and fell down upon the ground and worshipped and, and said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb and naked shall I return thither. Yahweh gave and Yahweh have taken away. And blessed be the name of Yahweh. In all this Job said not nor charge God foolishly. You know, and that's the um admirable man. That's the upright, that's a perfect man, rather. And the scriptures say how we're supposed to mark the perfect man, for in him, um, the end of that man is peace. 
Okay, and the end of Joe Bart's piece, man, the most high um gave him, you know, double of all that he had, I believe. Alright, so this is Job 2. That's just a you know side note. Job 2 and 1 it says, Again, there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before Yahweh, and Satan came also. Um, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna skip down to four. Job 2 and 4. And Satan answered the Lord. And says, skin for skin, yet all that a man hath he will give for his life. But for, put forth thine hand now, and touch his bones and his flesh, and he will curse thee to, to thy face. You know, so Satan was trying to entice a uh, Job to go against the Heavenly Father in his ways. You know, just as he does today. It says, but put, put uh, Salakia, uh, verse 6. And Yahweh said unto Satan, behold, he is in thy hand, but save his life. So when Satan forth from the presence of Yahweh and smote Job with sore boils from the soil of his feet, of his foot, unto his crown, unto his head. And he took him a pot shirt to scrape himself with all, and he sat down among the ashes. Then said his wife unto, jo unto him, unto Job, Does thou still retain thy integrity? Curse God and curse God. And die You see So You know Um His wife You got you, you notice that too uh, His wife didn't have any other That was That was her only uh Input In his whole book Was to curse the most high And die You know And on it And um You know what Let me just read on it says, but he said unto her, Thou speakest as one of the foolish women speaketh. What? So we receive good at the hand of God, and shall we not receive evil? And all this did not Job sin with his lips. Now, just by reading this, we can extrapolate that his woman at, at one point was righteous. You know? I'm not going to say righteous, but she was doing the things as a righteous woman would do. You know, she probably called him Lord. You know? Um, you know, just being a good servant unto him as a wife, you know, a wife or a woman is, is a, the man's servant, you know, but as soon as things went south, as soon as things went sour, as soon as he lost all his riches, his stability, if you will, because that's all a woman is, uh, is, is there for, you know, I mean, my dad always, always told me that, man, you know, a woman, she looks, she looks for, she looks at stability when she looks at a man, you know. By the way he dresses, you know what I'm saying? By the car he uh, uh, drives, you know? That's the first thing she looks at. And then, you know, of course, she looks at, you know, his walk and, and how he speaks or whatever, you know? But once that stability is gone, she's gone, man. All right? Now she's telling him to curse the most high and die. All right? Going to show you that in the same instance in this lifetime... Expect for your woman to do that, man. Because we know, according to the scriptures, I said in Matthew 24 that you know all you know they are going to come against us. Um, you know, basically for for believing in Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly knows is Jesus Christ. You know, the scriptures also tell us in Second Edges that there shall be a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. You know, and at the same time, you know, they're going to you know most likely be pushing that chip. Which means you can't work. Which means you're going to lose that car, that house. You know? So all types of uh, stability that you had in your life is going to be snatched away from you, man. And we got to expect the worst. You know? And, um, you know, you got to understand, too, that your woman, she's not built to, you know, withstand hardship, man. That's not her job. The scriptures I believe in First Peter say we have to you gotta look at your woman as of the as if she was of the weaker vessel because she is. You know? So hey man, expect her to uh show her show her true colors, man. When shit get rough. Alright, so this is uh Ecclesiastes chapter Ecclesiasticus Salakia chapter six verse seven. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first. And be not hasty to credit him. You know? And the same as for a woman, man. You got to prove her first, man. And be not hasty to credit her. You know? Be not hasty to, uh, 
thinks that she won't leave you at the drop of a dime, man. You know that she is so called rotted duh. <laughs> you know? You know? And we like, you know, I'ma say it again, we gotta you gotta plan for the worst, hope for the best, man. You know, but if you just, you know, uh in denial, you know, um, you know, not being circumspect as to the outcome, you know, then hey, you when she fall, you gonna fall with her, man. Cause that's your rib, that's your rock, man, as Jake like to say. You know, but us of the know, we understand that you can't put your trust in a woman, man. You know, all these women is temporary. That's how you got to look at it anyway, man. The most I put it in your life for a season, and you're going to take her away after that season is over. So this is Ecclesiasticus chapter 6, verse 7. It says, if thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first and be not hasty to credit him. For some man is a friend for his own occasion, Job's wife. And will not abide in the day of thy trouble. You know, so don't uh, you know? Don't expect her to abide by you in, in the day of your trouble. Now, of course, we say you know it's always an exception to where you're gonna have certain women that are meant to be saved, man. Like Mary and um, the woman that washed uh, Yahweh Shai's feet. You know, those that wept for Yahweh Shai. You know, the certain men that help uh, certain prophets, you know, those are the women that are, are slated to be uh, sla saved. But for the majority of these women, you know, that uh, that in America, you know, especially those that, like I said, that, you know, like to give the brother in hell, you know, and that, um, hey, that left the man of the Lord, you're going to you finish, man. Okay. It says, um, hey, sir, you know, you see it now, man. You might be going through hell. You might, because you know in this truth, you're going to catch hell. You might lose your job or might lose a job for a season. And what you want, she down your neck, man. Threatening to take the kids and leave you. Take the kids and leave you, man. You know? So it says, for some man is a friend for his own occasion. It will not abide in the day of thy trouble. And there was a friend who being turned to enmity and strife will discover thy reproach. Again, some friend is a companion at the table and will not continue in the day of thy affliction. But in, in thy prosperity, he will be as thyself and will be bold over thy servants. If thou be brought low, he will be against thee and will not and will hide himself from thy face. It says, separate thyself from thy enemies and take heed of thy friends. You know, so take heed of the women, you know, you got laying in your bosom, man. You know, let's grab that, actually. This is, uh, let's see, Micah 7 and 5. Trust ye not in a friend. Put ye not confidence in a guide. Keep the doors of thy mouth shut from her that lieth in thy bosom. You know, and I personally, you know, I personally, I, you know, when I had a woman, I told her, you know, as as little as possible, you know. I told her as little as possible. You know, hey, I mean I shit, I had her thinking I was a Christian, man. You know, and that's how you gotta do it, man. Like in that day, man, you my think about it, you telling you know, you telling a woman, um that's the I don't know, that's just the way I think, man. You telling a woman, nah, I, I can't take the chip. I'm a Hebrew Israelite. She, hey, she might mess around and turn your ass in, man. Cause all that hell is coming down. You know what I'm saying? All that hell that's coming down the pipeline. You know? Because, you know, at that same time, too, hey, you know they're going to, uh, uh, you know, represent, you know, they don't, you know they're going to put us out there as terrorists, as they do to this day, at, as at this day. You know? So keep the doors of our mouth from her of that life in thy bosom. Okay? Let's get one more. So rock 12 and 8. This is a friend cannot be known in, in prosperity, and an enemy cannot be hidden in adversity. So with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Kakwadash, Shalom to the elect.